Welcome back to another episode in the meal prep series. Today we are making chicken karahi, which I may be absolutely butchering that pronunciation. It's a Pakistani dish with a tomato base and heaps of herbs and spices. It's a really tasty one. Let's go! To get started, we'll dice our chicken. You'll need 750 grams of chicken thighs, which will remove any large pieces of excess fat off, and then dice into two by two centimeter cubes. We are using thighs instead of breast, as breast chicken would overcook and dry out if used for this recipe. For the vegetables, you'll need one large brown onion, which you'll cut in half, cut both ends off, peel, and then slice stem to tip to create long slices like this. You also need one large green chili, which you remove the stem from and slice on a diagonal to form thin strips. Additionally, you'll need 20 grams of fresh ginger and two garlic cloves, which you will microplane to turn into a paste. You don't need to peel the ginger as the skin will be broken down anyway. Alternatively, you can use one tablespoon of pre-minced garlic and ginger paste. Now let's start cooking. Place a fry pan over high, lightly oil and allow to heat. Place your sliced onion in the pan and allow them to develop some color. This should take about two to three minutes and then remove from the pan. Now place a large fry pan over medium high, allow to heat and add 20 grams of light butter. Light butter has been used to substitute for ghee or clarified butter to make the meals more macro friendly. Cook the chicken for two to three minutes on each side so it develops some color. Then add 800 grams of canned tomatoes. I find whole plum tomatoes taste best, but any kind of canned tomatoes will be fine. You could also add roughly chopped fresh tomatoes if you have fresh tomatoes lying around. Next, add in the ginger, garlic, and the cooked onions, as well as two tablespoons of ground coriander, one tablespoon of turmeric, garam masala, cumin, and cashmere chili powder. You can substitute the cashmere chili powder for half a teaspoon of standard chili powder. Stir to combine and reduce the sauce until it thickens. This should take 15 to 20 minutes. While the sauce is reducing, we'll cook the rice. Traditionally, this will be eaten with roti, but I have paired it with rice for meal prep convenience. You will need 300 grams of white rice, which you will rinse three times to remove any excess starch from, which will ensure nice separated rice grains once cooked. Cook in a rice cooker or over the stove according to the rice packet instructions. Back to the chicken karahi. Once the sauce is reduced so there's a minimal amount of liquid left, the chicken karahi is ready to be served. Be sure to taste and add salt to your preferred flavor. Divide the rice over the five containers followed by the chicken karahi. And finally, optionally garnish with a few sprigs of coriander. These meals only get better after being in the fridge for a couple of days and the flavor develops even more. So it's a perfect dish for meal prep. And there we have it, five servings of chicken karahi ready for the week. I really recommend you try this one if you get the chance. And if you don't like chili that much, just don't add the green chilies. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, drop the video a like, and I'll see you in the next one.